So when every other player gave up on Villegu mid, he became a jungler, it all seemed lost. There's one player in Korea still spamming the champion in the mid lane. His name is Need Her. He's 900 LP challenger. I actually versed him when I was over in Korea, only back in Masters, and he's been steadily on the climb today, gentlemen. Gonna jump on the rip, break down the strategy. I think it's actually pretty simple, and it can definitely be used in your lower elo games to completely take over and stomp your divisions. And just quickly, lads, I know it's pretty cringe, but if you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you did and leave a like on the video. It helps the algorithm out, spreads my videos around. I'd really appreciate it. Cheers. So, Viego mid, why play it? Well, if you're looking for a late game 1v9er, look no further. There's no better champion in solo queue than Viego, in my opinion. The reset factor can simply turn a game from unwinnable to winnable in a blink of an eye. You get one reset, you turn into Lissandra, you E and you W, Q. Get another reset, turn into, as you turn into bloody Riven, enemy team, start queuing through. It is such a fun champion. It's perfect for solo queue. Now, did they ruin Viego in the lane? Yes. This guy doesn't often win lanes. You kind of sit back. I know it's a little bit boring, but this is perfect in lower elo. You sit back, play with your jungle, wait for your items. This guy likes to go items like shield bow, and then he'll start amping up. He'll go into critical strike, okay? He'll start going for infinity edge in the later stages of the game. And once he hits that four or five items full build, it doesn't matter how far behind his team is, really. He gets one reset, and he'll instantly win the... He'll, he'll get a pentakill and win the game. I'm not kidding. It's such a good solo queue champion. So if you're able to... Build the door and shield in the early game. Survive these tough matchups. And in lower elos, guys, they don't even harass, okay? He does get solo kills. He's running Ignite Flash, by the way. But just know, a lot of the times, it's off a jungle gank or enemy team, enemy champion missteps, okay? So surviving. Just trying to stay out of that range. And the one thing that this guy is the best at that I've ever seen is his W flashes. So the W is the stun, right? At level 6, you'll see him just go for W, full health flashes. He'll get his combo off, ignite, auto attack them down, and when once they flash, he just R's on top of them for the cleanup kill. He's one of the best at it. See the Ramus coming in for the gank. It's a terrible gank because the wave's getting crashed. I think this Ramus is potentially Canyon, by the way. A lot of Ramus is getting picked up as of late in the jungle. There's this Ramus one trick. You hit Challenger playing it. Seems like a pretty good answer to a couple of these different champions. As this is AZHY. He's that number one Riven in the world. So it's that kill over onto the Wukong. But here we go. Early game skirmish. W gets set up. Does land it. Belveth trying to survive. They get it. Turns into Belveth. Tries to go in. Flashes. Gets the Q stun. Flashes. Stuns again. Gets the E off. And this is all you're looking for, right? The 2v2 skirmishes. There's no champion that does it better than Viego. So if you're not a jungler, like Viego jungle is strong, but like if you're not a jungler and you want to play Viego, you can play it mid top. I think there's an EUS player, Jutut, Dr. Atut, who actually plays a lot of it, I believe, in the top lane. It's the Mercs. It should be a no-brainer into Lissandra. I just noticed the enemy Ash is actually uh, Nemesis, if you guys know it. Speed back into base here. We don't have Flash. We don't have Ignite. We ha oh my god. We have Tenacity, but it's not going to be enough here. And you can just you can just see the downfall of playing Viego mid. You have to be so cautious. Because if you get, get caught out like that, get a little bit too far behind, you're not going to be able to get that reset city. Only 19 to 40 CS. You're not going to have CS leads playing this champion, in my opinion, guys. It's so hard to pull off. Just play for this right now. Stun lands. Moving in. Looking for it. And he misses. I don't think it's going to matter. Just needs to weave a couple of these Qs. One more Q will get it. One more Q will get it. One more Q will get it. We do. Turn into Lissandra. We're going to have to E out. Stun. Two and one now. Nice little setup. And dude, if you just look at like... Regardless if you're going to climb with this or not, if you're looking for something that's fun and 1v9-able, it's just... Just play this, man. How good is this champion? It's the perfect solo queue setup, I'm telling you. Usually, it's the Blade of the Ruin King is getting rushed at the moment. 
that item. When you run it on things like the Aurelia, the Yeago, even the Yones with the Blade of the Rune King Rush at the moment because they buffed the short range damage, right? The melee damage. Is it 14% in auto or something ridiculous? It's so stupid. This game. Looking pretty close. We're getting starving center. And you'll see him start to use that E really aggressively, the stealth. That's another thing that these Viego one tricks are good at. Just playing around that invisibility in the mid game. And once he gets full crit, he will just pop out, one tap this Ash, I guarantee you in the late game, just one tap the Ash out of invisibility. Gets the reset, throws a couple Ws, reset like... It's such a tilting champion design. It's the Invis, looks for the Invade. Doesn't have Flash, this is gonna be a big old skirmish here. The problem is, See if we can land this stun. We're not able to stun up the Lissandra. We get hard CC'd and we're gonna get nuked here. He pops the Ignite, doesn't get his ult off and it's not enough, we're gonna have to try and bail out. How much has this red buff cost? Okay. Riven shutdown if we can get it. Come on Wukong. Oh, he's spectator, what are you doing? Oh yeah, yay, they did not get it. Nemesis Asher comes through for the stun and the ram. Oh yeah. And we are going for that Blade of the Rune King. It's not essentially because the enemy team has tanks, right? It's just, it's such a good item power spike for this champ. And this is why you can't like laning with Viego is really hard because the Q the Q wave clear is just terrible if I'm honest. It's really hard to match wave clear against champions. It's the biggest that that's the biggest issue. So for you to be able to roam across the map, you have to shove waves. You can't build something like a tier map or anything that helps you shove. So you're kind of stuck in lane a lot of the times. In low elo, it doesn't matter. Trust me, guys. CS correctly. The kills will come. Hopefully your jungle will, be, will play something easy. Like the Ramus. And you'll just get free you get free kill setups over and over and over again. Now Viego is a pretty complex champion. Not because of his kit, but because of the passive. That you have to know how to play every champion in the game. If you're looking at learning how to play League, if you're a new player, I think a champion like Viego might be the fastest way to do so. You'll have it, it you'll have a chance to play every champion in the game. Play Viego and Silas, trust me. You'll learn a lot about the game. As we look for the all-in. We have Flash. Just weaving these Qs. W Flash into ult. I told you guys, this guy looks for the solos when he can. I'm gonna start to feel... Ooh, he has this. Belvethi. Ultimate comes out for the Ram. Stun. It lands. The Belveth has a little bit too much mobility and Ribbon is on the move. You see how he last second ticked that W stun into the R. Oh, there's no time to react. Do, 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 do. Vamp stepped up. Recurve. This is a big buy. You need sustain so the Vamp Scepter is inevitable. Some people like to go Shield Bow really early but you miss out on oh, you miss out on the attack speed nice the plate and i even saw him play a couple games with this against players like faker and even faker got solo killed a few times he was a little bit like you always just drop the ball for a second against the invisibility and you just get popped once he gets level 9, he gets that max rank Q, and he just spams it on you. Really annoying. And I played him, he was around Master or Grandmaster when I played him. And I thought, damn, this play is... This, this reminds me of like old school Aatrox or something, where I couldn't really do much. As much as I poked or killed him, if there was an opening in the team fight, he just 1v9 the game and it was, already G it was just GG'd. Do you know what I mean? He looks for the stun. Does not land it, and this is going to be horrendous. 
This is going to be so bad. He's going to have to try and run. Nemesis got the double kill on the bot lane. And he's still going to look. Belveth. We do have ultimate remember. And we hit it. Land. Oh, we're not able to land that Q. Please, guys. Are we able to get it? Cassandra moving in. Doesn't land anything. And some of that tenacity helping out. I definitely think if he played that better, he could have done it. Got that big bounty in the Belveth and 1v9. And you'll see soon, finally at level 9, it feels like you become a champion because the Q can actually clear through waves. The sustain is enough as well. How much gold are we sitting on, boys? Only 800. He really needs that Blade of the Rune King bite. But he can't quite get it. That's the spike you're looking for. Belveth has already hit it. Sanj looks for the top lane room. 3.5k gold behind at 12. It's not looking good. Belveth is the strongest jungler in the game. They see the crack in the Herald top and we're just going to hard shove it. Look for a plate. Shut down. Nice, Ram. Gets Ash. What's the cost, though? Probably top tier two. We'll get two plates. I think, how the hell are you going to turn on this game? It's 1500, so he has enough for the blade buy. Oh, no. Good flash. So we have built up a slight lead over Lissandra now. XP, it really is all that matters in this matchup. I'm gonna grab a dragon for ourselves. I turn the timers on. Come on, guys. Let's think for a little bit. I've been trying to come up with some, like, Play a little bit of fun picks as of late, just because I've got my rank in NA. I think full crit Viego is one of the best off meta picks. Um, I think AP Varus is bloody good, if I'm honest. I tried to play an ADR game the other day, did not work too well. Nemesis looks to be caught out. W doesn't hit, but Tom eats it up. I should be able to slowly make our way out. We have Blade the Rune King, by the way. We get that kill onto Nemesis. Where is the W? I'd love to see an E if he can get it. He's not going to risk it because they know the VA. The Riven is coming down hunting for the VA go. Look at him. Oh, he doesn't even have the blade. He hasn't even bought yet. I'm trolling. He's sitting on 2200. He needs the base. I don't think they're going to get out, guys. Flashes. This could be it. We have the ult, right? We ult in, and it doesn't quite work. It's a stun onto the Riven. Just trying to weave as many Qs as possible. Can we get the shutdown? 150. Please stop missing, and we get it. Get the assist. We're full health. Turn into Bard. And now we got to head back, man. We're sitting on 3,000 flat gold. And this is really where he takes over the games. He's 5k gold behind. But he hits that blade. he probably almost have enough for the Noon Quiver, no? And I love watching him from here. It's just 1v1 and one, one tap city. And it's only going to get worse for the enemy team. Level 11 completed. Side lane... Is where you want to be, looking for the 1v1s. Viego is a terrific 1v1er. The Wukong already eating the bot side. I guess he has to park himself up in the top side, unfortunately. I don't think he can 1v1 the AZH, though. Or Drinker. And Belveth has Blade into Sunfire. Disgusting. Come on, guys. Do we need to chase a Riven halfway across the map? And it's a stun. Don't quite have the ultimate. Here comes Nemesis. AD Ash. Great. Remember the Belveth is worth a huge bounty. 
Jaeger ult up in five. Can we get any of the resets? We can't. Oh no. That's a five for one. Five for none. Oh my god, man. That team fight, his ult was up in five seconds. His ult was up in five seconds. Now he's starting to get that crit. Oh, dude, that was so close. But you have to remember a lot of games turn out like this because of how weak Viego is in the early, guys. Don't give up in games like this. All it takes, just, just think in your head, it doesn't matter how far ahead the enemy team is. It's one of these type of champions. Did we miss that? Excuse me, sir, did we miss that? Riven. Your drink is scaring me, please, sir. Back away. I wonder if they're gonna look for the mid the mid-game team fight with the Ramus. If you don't kill Belveth, just go next. Belveth just annihilates that monkey. <laughs> ah. But we're still not done, you can see. Ramus trying to look for a flank on the Lissandra. You need to kill the Belveth, guys. Please land a stun. Please, somebody land a stun. Here comes the Viego, baby. We move in. We move in. Oh no. We do get the bounty. And we are Belveth now. We turn into it. What are we able to get? Yep. Resets. Try to use that E. I don't know if it doesn't really get much done. Can we get it? We have the ult. No. You've just got Riven doing Riven things. He needs items, bro. He's sitting on 1800. At least he ate that bounty up for himself. Jesus Christ. AZH. We hit that shield boat. And this is where his build kind of pivots. It's situational from here. Lord Dominix is usually what he goes. Looks for that armor penetration with the crit. And four, you can go IE. And once you get that IE, that's when you really become... Um, unav unavoidable. Like, they have to focus you, otherwise it's GG. I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for is. Will this work on your low Edler games? Yes. Mid lane ARAMs. It's perfect for this. On cooldown. Binder. Center stack check. 63. Ramus almost picked out. And we're going to get another fight. Lissandra gets stunned up. Not going to mean anything though, as the Riven trying to take down the Ramus. Who are is a little bit too hard to say. And I don't think he can survive. Nothing can get done. And I feel bad, man. Once this Belveth just starts getting these resets, it feels so hard to play out. As he's trying to take down Lissandra. Not able to do it. Belveth on the hunt. Are they able to get him? Nemesis? Nemesis? That's a nice little bounty, no? Pops the E. Moves in. They're getting awfully low. Execute now. Free and challenger game. I don't think you want to take that. If you can force the Nash, it's massive. Unfortunately, they have Hex, hex Gates, so I don't think it's going to be this. Let's see. Oh, God. Bria Baron, bro. It gives me literally nightmares. I still remember them. Belveth didn't have to reset, so the Belveth's here. Bard has Portal. Bard has Alt. TP coming in for Lissandra. Oh, God. I can't watch. Uh, how is it going to turn out? Where's the Viego? 
He needs the reset. And he does. He gets Lissandra. Is he able to get the Belveth? He is. Gets two. Gets three. Uh, AZH looking for the 1v1. We have ultimate again. And was that a triple or a quad? I don't even know. I'm pretty sure he killed more than that. There's still 7k gold behind, by the way. But he is sitting on 3200. And this is where he comes... All you need is this one team fight. And trust me, it happens every game with this guy. All you need is that one team fight where you get all these resets. And then now the next team fight, he is going to start getting crit. And he'll one tap... They'll one tap the Ash or Lissandra, and it'll be nothing they can do. Or Doms. Get that pickaxe. And man, it's fun to play. Hey, take the thing. Okay. I apologize. It's so funny watching Crit Viego, bro. A lot of people kind of run him on hit and tanky. Obviously, the shield bow passive is going to give him a little bit of tankiness, but it's mainly just pure damage, right? They're going to move their way in. Watch him play on the outskirts. He just wants to spam his Q, not get too close. Ramesh getting sliced apart. See, everyone's slowly getting low, and this is where he'll try to make, make his way in. Nice CC here from Lissandra. He's thinking about turning, and he does. He goes back in, hits the ultimate, gets the Belveth reset, turns into Belveth, looking to keep on going now for the Riven. Hits the Riven, gets the kill, turns into the Riven. All eyes on the Nemesis now. Do you see, guys? Do you see why he's a thou he, he He literally has hit 1,000 points in Korea. Because he can turn games like this. And you look at it and you don't even think it's he's doing much, right? But he plays the team fight slow. He waits for his team to kind of int to get half health. And then he just poof, turns the switch. Another 1500 gold in the bank. And he hasn't even come into the full crit. Once he hits his IE, guys. Because the thing about Viego is nothing... It doesn't really matter what you do. As long as you get that one reset, you're fine. You just want that one reset. So essentially going crit, going max damage, just getting that crit for that one tap on the enemy team. Bam. If you get lucky, good RNG, you're in the game. Four hundred gold bounty. He's on 2300. I think he's just going for an outright IE buy. He does it. He does it. Bam. Here we go. <laughs> well My boy What can he get done? Hunting. They're so damn tanky if you look at their items. The only targets is Bard and the Ash if you're looking for a one tap. Does he know the Sandra's there? Puts the pink. Baron up in one minute. And I don't think with IE, if you have at least 60% trit chance, you get 35% extra damage, right? On your crits. So this, I, I just want to see how much his crits are going to get done. Remus looks at the reset. Nothing. Can't get the stun. Just instantly ults in. 
And watch how he plays it. So they just one-tap the Ash. He's still sitting, just spamming Qs. God, he has Flash and Ignite, but he's just not quite going in yet. Looks for the Q, doesn't get it. Pops the Ignite, though. And I wonder if it's, he's thinking of like a W Flash onto Riven into R. They're so scared of him. Flash is the Riven CC. This is a high elo fight. I know Baron spawning. He's full health. Most of them will get reset, right? What his buy is? Mm, stopwatch. He's gonna get stopwatch into red. He really wants 16. He's able to get it here, guys. I just wanna see like a pentakill or something. Center Souls, how are we looking? 97. Three more. Like, whoever makes the wrong move is going to lose. It's not about who makes the right move, it's just like whoever panics. Bardolt gets one. Dragon fight coming up. These dragons don't really mean much. Whoever wins the next team fight just insta wins. You can see him. Senna finally has 100 stacks, that range. Bopping the bard. And honestly, him turning into bard wouldn't be too bad. He can reposition the team. Remus making his way in. So is the Tom. God. The mid lane, dude. When you play Hailu in Korea, this mid lane wave, it's just a battle. As you see the Wukong finally pull the trigger. Watch the Viego. Watch the Viego right in the middle. This is perfect situation for him. He wants to move in. Wait for it. And they get the Lissandra. And he's going to move in with that E. Hits that ultimate straight away. And they get the Riven just. Velvet gets taken down. And I mean, he's his full health now. Looking for the chase. Nemesis actually does a one for one. Stun doesn't land. Ultimate comes through. Run, bud! Wukong should be able to get it. Then you're going to be able to set up a Nash. Come on, don't. I swear to God, bro. Oh my days, the bard escape. I'm going to kill this Baron, though, guys. And for the remainder of the game, I'm going to come over to Nemesis POV just to see how unplayable it is against. Well, Lissandra, you are fucking useless. Unless. Oh. To be honest, all I want to see is Nemesis get one tapped and complain about it. That's all I'm looking for. Dragon. Is this second or third? Yeah, if okay. I almost come some that, can someone go to Jake with me? This dragon really doesn't matter. I would not go there, boss. I think he should have went like Shilbo or something on this Ash, right? No matter what's going to happen, he's just going to get one tapped. He's going to outsmite it. Oh. How they play it. Yeah. Nemesis has Ghost. He has to hit R on the Viego and the resets. Stop it. Well, Dom's completed. Okay, okay, this okay. AD. Care this AD. Care. <laughs> you hit HP, you boom. So I think he's talking, talking about, about Thorn Mail. Thorn mail. Yeah, Ramus Thorn Mail. Oh, yeah. And the Tom Thorn Mail. <laughs> okay. He's talking about Thorn Mail. He pings me Thorn Mail. I'm like, what, what did he even ping? I have no idea what's a good last item here, sadly. I mean, QSS against Ramus, right? Or does it not matter? 240 magic damage per auto that can someone fucking help me. What do oh I God, buy? This... What do I buy? What saves me from this shit? 
How to buy MR? Like Vincent or what? Like what's even a good item here? Like I don't get it. I don't know. Might have found the Wukong though. Ultimate can be pressed. Did the Viego have Viego has GA completed by the way? Viego's on top side. It looks like they've actually found a pick. Tom makes his way in. Here comes the Ramus. Ah! Just one taps the Ash. Viego's on the reset city. Look at him in the background. He turns into Belveth. That's so bullshit! To be honest, dude, Ramus, this game has been ridiculous. With these Shump ults. is OP, so man. What the fuck is this Stormmail fucking item? 12k damage. 12, 12k fucking damage. Like, nice, nice counter play I have, man. What? He just flew out of nowhere with like trillion moon speed and fucking one shot me. Like, great, man. <laughs> fucking lovely. And the Viego. Oh, yeah, only 720 armor. Like, I think that's really awesome. <laughs> That's gonna be the end, guys. Viego mid. If you wanna go and tilt people. I promise, man. I, we played so much better, but and then them. It's whatever, man. It's whatever, man. That's gonna be the end of the review today, guys. Uh, I like watching this. I like watching this Viego mid lane guy. It's fun to play. It's good in solo queue. Just don't int the early game. Come into it in the mid game. You should better win your games. But until next time, boys. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.